everybody, I'm Rana and you're watching Rana's Radar. Now we have been doing some shop tours as you've noticed, but one thing that I'm very excited about today is looking as always at classic cars, but more than that is at cars for sale. Now we know you guys have been working on projects at home and I'm working on my first, but for most of you, this is your second or your third, you know the whole drill, but how nice would it be to get an actual classic car, the one that you want, your dream car, that's already done that's already finished. And that's why I've got a big smile on my face because we're gonna have a look at Restoration Warehouse right here in Knoxville and see what's going on behind these doors. So I'm gonna go and have, if I can get these doors open, we're gonna have a chat with Ace. Hi Ace, how's it going? Great, how are you? Good, always good to see you. Great to see you. Thank you so much for giving me the time. Welcome to Restoration Warehouse. Thank you. This is, the, the building is huge, everybody, and there is a lot happening in here. But before we look at the cars, tell us about Restoration Warehouse. So Restoration Warehouse started about two years ago. And what we do is we buy, sell, consign, and store classic and unique vehicles here. That is in a nutshell about what's going on. There yes. is a lot more and you all just have to watch yes. this video. But if you're enjoying this and the shop tours, everybody do hit that subscribe button and give it a thumbs up because I'm going to continue. I'm not stopping. There is so much happening here. There is so many different showrooms. We've just walked through the doors. Check out my view, everyone. <laughs> a little bit of everything. Okay. The first thing that's going to catch my eye is definitely this right here. So what you're seeing right now is a 1967 Toyota FJ45. These were called basically island trucks and they were made for working. You know, you'll see an FJ40, which is your SUV, but these are called a 45 and that's only the pickup trucks. They have a removable hard top on them, but they're a very basic six cylinder, three speed, four wheel drive utility truck. Let's go around here. You know, Ace, I've yeah. never seen a classic Toyota before. Yeah. The, this is my first. <laughs> they're not something that you're going to see very often at all. And if it's a first for you, then, you know, it's got to be something special because you've got to see all kinds of cool stuff. I have seen a lot of different classics. This is definitely my first Toyota from the 60s. And you know what? I like it. It's, it's so different. <laughs> it is. It is very different. A little bit of Jeep element. Uh, uh, about a year ago, I took this to a local Cars and Coffee and I parked next to a Ferrari, and I swear people were going to jump across the hood of the Ferrari to come check out this old Exactly. <laughs> it was great. I'm not surprised. Okay, first of all, what is this right here? So these were equipped with many different levers and things like that for different applications. Mm -hmm. And um, that one right there would have been for a hydraulic system, oh. uh, but that is not on this vehicle, actually. Wow, okay, I thought it might have been to be able to open the, um, the front. No, so you actually have a release right here that you would flip, and when you unbolt this top up here... It would flip down. It would flip down. Okay. Very cool, full <laughs> five window Toyota. <laughs> this is beautiful. So this is a 1968 Chevrolet Chevelle. SS396 car. It was a one owner car previous to us uh, out of California. It was ordered by a lady, and I know a lot of people say that, but you'll hear with the options of why it explains it a little bit better. So it is a SS396 big block car with factory AC and a factory power steering car. Now we have added the power disc brakes to this car but what else is kind of a rare option of a SS car? It is a bench seat, column shift, and it's convertible. So with it having the AC and convertible kind of makes a little bit more sense of woman owned and in California, you know, but it is all original interior in this car. The exterior has been repainted once and it was done by the grandson of the lady that owned it back in 2009. One owner Chevelle, and what was the mileage on this again? Uh, I really don't remember. We'll just take a quick look. I believe this car, right at like 135,000 miles. All original. 
I mean, you don't find classic cars like this. And for people out there who are working on Chevelles at home and trying to get all the parts and stuff, yes. spending so much hours, and you've got one just sitting absolutely beautiful here. And, of yep. course, it's for sale. It is for sale. And you can check out any of our inventory at RestoWarehouse.com. But you know me, Ace, I'm here and I want to see things up close. Yes. There, there is so much here. There is such a big variety. I mean, there's, there's a Plymouth Roadster. Look at that green. We're, we're going to go over there in a minute. <laughs> but for the truck lovers out here. Yep. Short bed C10, 383 stroker, overdrive transmission, AC. Right now you're checking out our Voodoo Blue 89 Land Rover. 110 two-door soft top. So you can completely remove this. This is what a lot of people would consider a safari style Land Rover. 100%. And it's nine passenger with a V8 in it and a five speed. And uh, th this one's really been done up wow. very nicely. It's all leather inside. It's got a backup camera and touchscreen TV. So it's, it's done a little bit over the top. I love the back seat, the two bench seats, completely safari style. I yes. mean, this is just great for families with a lot of oh. kids. Oh, my, my kids love riding in this. <laughs> it, it's a ton of fun. It's got a great stereo system. There's actually a subwoofer mounted right up underneath this seat. Um, it, it was a real, very nicely done restoration on this. Okay. Restoration Warehouse, we're here in Knoxville. Uh, give us some of the basic details. Um, the website was? RestoWarehouse.com or you can give me a call 865-409-5407 and I'll be happy to answer any questions about any of the cars that we have or that you see here today. I'll be happy to do the best to answer everything that you've got a question about. <laughs> it is by appointment only and yes. you will soon find out exactly why it's by appointment only because there is some sleek looking classics in here. Yes. You are selling the cars but there's a lot more than just selling them as well. How do you acquire the vehicles in here? Um, you know we've been blessed over the years with people that we still have contacts with that hey I know of this one that's for sale. Um, the passing of some people that hey we don't want to keep up the cars anymore and we want them to go to a good home. So we're real blessed like that. We also travel to Mecham Auto Auction. We go mm -hmm. there quite often. And uh, so, you know, it's just a lot of word of the mouth, like is really what our true contacts are. Love it. How long has the owners been here in Knoxville? Oh, they, they've been actually here uh, their whole entire lives themselves and uh, had this building for right around like five years and they started with a few classic cars and it's just been a small hobby and we all kind of got together. Ace, tell me about this truck here, it's a 72? 1972, that's correct, short bed. It does have a 400 small block in it. This truck has actually been done for almost 20 years now. So it's very impressive on how well it's held up and as nicely as it looks like it's been done, you know, just a few months ago. This is so interesting here at the front. Yes, so it's a custom one-off uh, air intake for uh, feeding the carburetor and uh, just really accents the engine bay very well. For 20 years, it's been kept so well. Yeah. And it, you know, we, everybody loves the C10s nowadays. Yes. And this is one that has already been done. Yeah, so the uh, the truck now rides on all ride tech coilover suspension. Um, it's got 20 by eights in the front that are a true three piece wheel. And the rears are 20 by 16s that are a true three piece wheel. So it's pretty impressive. It's of, very impressive. And it rides very nicely down the road. It's all uh, wheel wood, four wheel disc brakes on it. Um, now I, I know that restoring these trucks and especially to get them to this level costs a lot of money. It does. I'm doing one, so I know. Yeah. <laughs> now, someone can get these. Can you share with us? Because I know most some of you, when we checked out um, a few other classic cars that were selling for shops, people were curious about prices. Right. Are you able to give us a range on what something like this would cost? I mean, this has got everything done. So let's just say if you were going to build this truck now, today you're, you're building this truck now, you know, 
paint job is going to cost you $25,000 easily to do all the body work, get everything done. Interiors, easily of ten dollars to $15,000, how extreme you go. Wheels and tires run you five dollars and $6,000. So this truck sitting right here, um, you can check it out on our website. And this truck right now, we're asking $95,000 for. And you couldn't build it for that right now. No. And all the chassis has all been fully painted. Um, I mean, it's a very nicely done truck. And in that 20 years, it's only had 100 miles put on it. Exactly. <laughs> that's, the, that's the final closing statement yes. on that 100 miles. So that's miles. why it's held up so nicely and been treated so well and looks so beautiful like it was done yesterday. Yeah, that's, that's beautiful. So over here, this is a 1957 uh, Ford T-Bird. Um, this car has been restored back to its original state like it came off the assembly line. We do have the hard top for this car and it does have all the cloth uh, fold up top that is tucked away behind the seat and uh, just a very nicely done car. So do you find these at auctions that are already done up and ready or do you need to tweak some things and work on them here as well? So we do a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. We try our best to buy the nicest cars that we can possibly find. We try not to get into paint and body work, nothing to that. But yes, we will go through and rebuild carburetors and fix wiring and uh, change wheels and tires or fix suspension or anything that we see fit, we can do here. But we try to purchase something that is already done, very nicely done, that you know we already know what we're getting and it's not some big surprise to us. That's our goal. So I'm understanding that there might even be a shop somewhere around here as there well is. where you guys work on it. There okay. is, Hence yes, the big we building. do have that, yes. <laughs> yeah, we, we've got a pretty good sized shop We're here. definitely gonna check that out too, but definitely let's have a look at the Plymouth. So this is a 1936 Plymouth Roadster. It's all steel. Um, it is done in a Mopar green. So everything about this car is still Mopar. Um, the motor was a brand new crate motor and transmission that was purchased, I believe, back in 2015. So this is a 6.1 liter Hemi. That would be the SRT motor for back then. It is all fuel injection, uh, power steering, power brakes, AC. Um, it is push button start. What's really neat about this car is you walk up with a key fob and the start button lights up just like a new car. So you put your foot on the brake and it will start. Wow. This car was all built locally to us uh, by a close, close friend of mine. Um, he did everything on this car. And when I say everything, he stitched the convertible top. He made all the interior himself. He did all the wiring. He did all the fabrication on this car. Only when there is so much love involved, something can look this good. Exactly, yes. Honestly. And um, this car was a factory roadster seat car, which meant that the trunk would flip open backwards. So you would have a back seat and he converted it all into a trunk area. The um, rumble seats, right? Correct, yep. Hey Ace, go on the other side and okay. tell me about the dash. Okay. This is all done up. I mean, before I get in, check out the running board here. These, it's one of the things I love about the Plymouths. So, I know probably what you're wanting to see is some of the accessory oh. light. Here, here, I'm gonna shut this door back and you will see it light back up. And so, all the door area, there's not a single wire that runs through here. There's little contact buttons. When they touch, that's how your power windows work. That's how the lights light back up right through here. Everything was really thought out. It is a push button transmission. It, it's very neat. This would be your start button right here. So when you have the key fob, you just walk up here, touch that, car fires right up. Um, everything lights up green like the car. Um, it, it was great. The seat flips forwards if you need to, slides up, tilt column. Um, it's a very impressive car. This is absolutely show car material. And hey, everybody, there was lights even in the engine bay. Check this out. Wow. This would be amazing to just to show it and display it, have it on a turntable. Yes. Wow. There's a fair bit of room now, isn't it? Yes.
at the Mayflower. Uh-huh. <laughs> so these are actually motorcycle tail lights that are all LED. Um, he made these out of billet aluminum rings. He machined himself. Um, wow. He's just a talented, talented person. I'm blessed to call him a friend. And, uh, you know, it, this car has been done since around 2020. It's had 500 miles put on it. So this has not been just a trailer queen. It's been driven down the road. It's tried and true. Um, this car has been a part of the NSRA. I think it was the Mopar anniversary, I believe is what it was. Uh, it was in their showcase at NSRA in Louisville. Um, it, it's just a wonderful driving car. It sounds very, very nice. <laughs> and plenty of power with that Hemi in this small of a car. That is beautiful. Yes. That is just beautiful. This is why I thought you guys would enjoy this because not only do we get to look at beautiful classic cars, which is why I'm here, Yes. but also because so many of you, like I said, are working on cars at home and I have heard 10 years, 15 years, seven years, it's a long time. Oh yeah. And some of them just never get finished because it's taken so much or health takes over and family life takes over. Life, yes, 100%. And at the end of it, you end up spending a lot of money. Working Spend a lot of money and, you know, and a lot of people talk about their time, just like you were saying, yeah. what's your time worth? And, you know, we try to help you out with that of if we could give you your dream car and have it instantly instead of waiting the year, two years, ten years, whatever it takes, we try to have a little bit of everything on hand for everyone. That's what we're trying to strive here. So, I mean, even right here, 97 Plymouth Prowler. You don't see these every day. These are very neat cars. They're fun to drive. They handle great. Um, you know, and you don't see them. That's, I'm, you won't see many of these, and this one only has like 26,000 miles on it. Um, and, they're, and they're fun. Big variety, something Big, for everyone. Exactly. Which is why we're gonna go ahead and look at the next showroom <laughs> here. Again, something for everybody here. I'm pretty sure anybody that's following this channel, there's something in this room that you're going to go, ooh, I like that. Well, we know with my subscribers and viewers, everybody likes something different. Exactly. We've got dry and that, five That's what's crowd. the greatest thing about the car world. Yep. That's why there's so many different colors of paint and different wheels and different styles of cars. You know, it, it's supposed to be yours and, you know, what fits your personality. This is a Mercury? Yep, 48 Mercury. 48. So this is a custom car, shaved door handles, frenched in headlights and tail lights. Um, this car has overdrive transmission, um, AC, power steering, power disc brakes. We try to offer also what somebody wants to enjoy and get out and run around on a weekend. We've got everything from full-blown show cars to the car that you might buy and want to drive every day and you can do that. Well, here's a question, Ace. A lot of people work at home on their mm -hmm. project cars uh -huh. and one of the benefits of that is because they know exactly what they have done. Right. They know every inch of the car. Mm -hmm. Whereas buying something that is already done here, obviously that's not the case. Correct. My question is warranty. So we do not offer a warranty, but what we do offer here is transparency. So I'm gonna tell you everything that I can possibly tell you about this car that I know of. Mm -hmm. We've driven this car to North Carolina. We get our stuff out and we enjoy it. And I try to build a relationship with, if we purchase this from someone, I wanna build a relationship with them. So I understand what they put into this car. What they have done, yeah. Exactly, and try to, and we have a it's lift here. It's not like here. somebody comes and drops the car off to you. Right. And you know, you, you give them money yeah, and we, that's it. Yeah, we try our hardest to understand everything with each and every car. And now, it's hard to do that when we have a selection like what we do, but we try our hardest. We're trying to be a little bit different in the classic car world of just buying and selling that, you know, we wanna be open with you. 
Um, I do keep a list on hand that, you know, if you come here to our shop and there's a vehicle that you want to see, let's put it up on the lift. Let's check it out together. And, you know, th that's the best way because none of these cars are the same. Mm -hmm. I don't care where you're standing right here. Neither one of these two cars right here next to me, as much as you want them to be identical or if they have the same things done, they're definitely going to be a different car. So that's why we want you to check it out and be, you know, very confident in your buying experience as well with us. Love that. Transparency, everybody. Because like you said, these are classics. They, they are classics, you know. It's, uh, you, you can't offer a warranty. This is not off the assembly line. This is, you know, everything is a, you know, custom part more or less, or, you know, it's... And when something looks this good and has this finish in it, yeah. I can only imagine the amount of work and money that the previous owners would have invested and, you know, yeah. Sweat, blood, and tears, if you want to call it, in getting it to this stage. Exactly. And um, they wouldn't have done it just to, you know, leave some wiring unhooked, I right. guess. It, it's just like this 54 sedan delivery right here. I believe this car has close to 10,000 miles on it since it was finished. So it, it's got some little chips. It's, you know, but it's a true road warrior car that you could hop in and drive and, you know, because obviously they did. And I'm guessing it looks a lot more finished than some of the projects sitting at home. Exactly. <laughs> you know, looking at these trucks, we were looking at the 72. Mine still, I'm looking at a frame. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly right. So this right here is a 1962 Plymouth Fury. It does have a 1970 CUDA 440 numbers matching tri-power setup. The tri powers is underneath yes. the, the, okay. So those are all numbers matching, carburetors. Um, I know a little bit more of the history on this car. Um, this car came out of Texas. Uh, when it was sandblasted and everything, they said it was one of the most solid convertibles they had ever seen in their lives. Wow. Yeah, so I, I was blessed to find out who the original builder and things of this car were. It's got a Paul Atkins leather interior in this car. Uh, the convertible top is all power on this car. It's got classic instrument gauges. Oh, nice. Yes. Wow, I love the seats, first of all. Oh, it's comfortable, handles great, and plenty of power. Wow. This is beautiful. Can I put the armrest down? Yeah. Very cool. Now on the website, are the prices listed? Yes. For each car? Each car has Don't you price love that? listed. <laughs> uh, we try to put information with each car mm -hmm. and uh, and if there's something you've got a question about, give me a call. That, that's what I'm here for, is to answer your questions because a lot of our buyers are out of state and, you know, they want to... So you're not know. just here taking these beautiful cars out for drives every day and just having a good time? Right, yes. <laughs> as much as I would love for that to be happening, you know, it just doesn't, you know. There's, it's just me and one other gentleman that work here full time. And uh, so it, it's hard to get everything out here, but we try to be... We try to take everything down the road about every month or every other month. We try to take nice. something down the road and, you know, really understand what's going on with it. The Demon, the SRT Demon. Now, <laughs> this I, is... I, I love these. Every time I see it on the road, which has not been very often, I've actually, you know, <laughs> I shouldn't have, I admit this, but I've driven, gotten closer, changed my <laughs> lanes. Check it out, everybody. So this is a brand new... 2023 Demon 170, the 1,025 horsepower, baddest street car out there right now. It does have the carbon fiber wheel option. The front and rear tires are how it comes straight from the factory with the Mickey Thompsons. This car has nine miles right now. <laughs> and if it wasn't raining, we were gonna put some miles on it today. I know, just my luck. But a thousand horsepower right from the factory. Yes. Now, for those of you who do follow the auctions, 
some of the popular ones that's happening right now, you would have noticed how much this went on the block for. And you know what all I can say is? Way overpriced on the auction because <laughs> the price sticker here is very sweet. <laughs> yes, so. But this is a car that we will probably hold on to for a while and just Are you telling enjoy. me this is not for sale right now? It, it, <laughs> it can be for sale, but you know, we got to put some miles on it, enjoy it a little bit. I was watching the auctions online and this was, I don't know, 230 or 250,000. And um, it's a lot less here, so that's all I'm going to say, whether Ace wants to sell it or not, but you guys can handle that part yourself. But check this out, brand new, everybody. A lot of carbon fiber happening here as well. I mean, with a thousand horsepower right from the factory. This, I got a bit of a moper girl in me, so I do like these, everyone. I didn't slam it. I don't slam new car doors, so you better shut that properly. <laughs> All right, my Tri-5 crew, you know who you are. Check out the belly. So this is a 1957 two-door post car with a 1963 409 motor in it. Uh, it does have the correct snowflake intake on this car. It has bigger cam in it. But this car also has an overdrive transmission, AC, rack and pinion steering, four-wheel disc brakes. It's a driver car. Power front windows on it, tilt column, retro radio, 17 and 18 inch wheels. Does the 57 Bellas are very hard to find. Mm -hmm. If you wanna, if you're looking for one and you wanna find it, do a project car, they are very, very difficult to find everybody. Yes. So when you've got one that's all done up like this, it's absolutely timeless. Wow. It's very hard to not, you know, to pass up these cars, especially if you're, this is what you are looking for. And you want to start working on one to make it the way you want. But then you see something that's this beautiful. It's all done up. Ready to go. State of the art, everything. Under the carriage, under the hood. And, and this is a car that we, we drove this one also over to North Carolina and back. Uh, I drove it for three days straight to the Pigeon Forge Rod Run from Knoxville to Pigeon Forge, running 70 miles an hour up the interstate, AC blowing, radio going. It was great. This car drives wonderful. You have a good job, Ace. Yes, I do. <laughs> I do very much. So this is a 1970 Oldsmobile Cutlass SX. So it does have the 455 big block. This is a all original numbers matching car. It has been repainted one time, but it is all original interior. It's never been off the frame. Um, as far as we can tell, it doesn't appear that the motor's been out of it or transmission. Uh, I've had it up in the air. No floor pans have been replaced, no nothing. This is a very beautiful car on the underside. It does have the hearse, is and her dual gate shifter. And what is this listed off, listed at the moment? Uh, this car, I believe that I have it online for 65,000. Nice. Now, our price is negotiable. They are. <laughs> they we, we, are. Try to work, we try to work with people, <laughs> but we, don't, we also don't mark up our cars a bunch. We're not trying to be the guys that are out here just flipping cars and making every last dollar on every car. That's not what we're here for. We're trying to build a relationship. We want to, you know, in a few years, you decide, hey, I want to get another car. We want to be your go-to guys. Yeah. That's exactly what I was going to say. It's yeah. a relationship that you're trying Correct. to build with the customers. And you know the prices, and you guys know the prices, the current market prices. So yes. Let's have a look here. 
So this is our fun station wagon right here. This is a 1966 Chrysler Town & Country. It does have a fully built aluminum headed 383 in it with a very large cam. It sounds nothing like what a station wagon would normally sound like. <laughs> and uh, this car does have power steering, power disc brakes on it. It is a nine passenger car with the power back glass and the rear facing seats. And this is how it would have come? Uh, yes, they, they had different paint? options. Uh, we have added the wood grain wrap to the side of it. Mm -hmm. uh, because we love every station wagon that we've had so far. We always, they either have wood grain or we add the wood grain to them because we think that's what every station wagon should have is wood grain on the side hundred percent. But um, back in the day, would it yeah. have been this uh, wide, the wood grain? Yes, yeah. Okay, interesting. I've so seen this, this a few times and I love it. Because yes. you know, kids can sit there and just watch the cars behind them. You know, we're... We're here to have fun just like everybody else that you want to with your classic cars. And you know, this car is just a really good car. It's not perfect. And that's why we get to enjoy it so much of crawling in and out of here. We're <laughs> not, you know, you don't really have to worry about this one having perfect paint and perfect interior. This is a fun car right here. That's what I said. This is such. There is such a variety here. There is trucks out there, you yes. know, and then you've got the demon there for people yeah. who want to go a little bit fast and be by exactly. themselves or just with a couple. And then you've got family cars as well. Yes, it's. Um, I'm loving the variety here. 1973 Buick Riviera, what they call the boat tail car. This car is pretty much 95% original paint. 100% original interior in this car. Um, AC works on it. This is a fun, just hop in this car, go, and you really don't have to worry about it. And these cars are becoming a lot more popular with that boat tail. I haven't seen the Rivieras with the boat tail. God, it reminds me of the Corvettes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Isn't that interesting? I actually haven't seen it at all with the boat tail. Okay, I've seen a couple of Rivieras done up really well, but yeah. this is different. This window is very different, very Corvette. Cool exactly. Stingray style. Yes, just a larger version of it. Just a much larger the, version. The more family car version. <laughs> this is very cool. I like it. Yeah. I like the body lines, it's pretty cool. It's a very neat car. Now, Restoration Warehouse here in Knoxville, Ace, you have a shop. So these cars are getting checked, they're getting turned on, they're getting driven out. Exactly. Um, but you also, you offer storage. We do offer storage. It is a no monthly commitment. So there's no contract saying that you've got to stay here for one month six months, anything. It's a month to month. Um, we offer it at $250 a car. It's climate controlled. We do have options for doing, um, you know, if you need an oil change while your car's here, if you need to have something checked out, we offer those services as well, along with uh, battery tender services and things like that. And, you know, if you want to come by and get your car, you give me a call, I pull the car out, put the keys in a lockbox, tell you the code, you come by, pick up your car, drive it, bring it back, and then I put it right back up in storage for you. Absolutely, that's awesome. That's absolutely awesome because someone could just come in, give you the car and say, I just need you to store it for two months. Exactly. And then they disappear, they go traveling around and they come back a year later and they just need it to have done for three months. Exactly. Very flexible. Exactly, Very that, flexible. that's what we want to offer here. And just looking around at this facility, I mean, this I would consider keeping my truck here as a storage place, everybody, because like you said, climate controlled, super neat, super clean. You've got mechanics here on site as well. Yes. So you know that if it's here for a lengthy period of time, the motor's going to get turned on. Exactly. And um, just to keep things fresh and running with these classic cars. Yes. So I love that. I absolutely love that. There is storage here as well. All right, let's continue walking because there is more to see. <laughs> That's exactly right. And there is your lift. So anybody who comes and checks out a car, you can just put it on the lift. They can have a look for it themselves. They yes. can bring their own guy. Very cool. 
Now, I do want to show everybody this. <laughs> <laughs> this is something you're also not going to see every day. This is a 1959 Jeep FC 170. So the FC stands for Ford Control. They made a 150 and a 170. The 170 is a long bed. As you can see in this one, it has a basically a boom for a tow truck. Front and rear winches on it. It is a flathead six cylinder, which is all a factory motor in this. I see a lot of cars and trucks, but no matter how long I do this, everybody, I'm always gonna find things that I have not seen before. <laughs> yeah, this, this one's, uh, it's got a uh, three speed with an overdrive transmission. And they call this the Hurricane six cylinder flathead. The Hurricane six cylinder? Uh-huh. What, what's so different about it? So it's like a flathead Ford right here. It's not your typical valve cover with an overhead valve system. And they were made just for these? That I do not know. I don't know what all this motor would have came in in the Jeeps back then. Um, but I believe almost all FCs were offered with that motor configuration. But somebody spent a lot of time and love yes. into doing this exactly the way that they want. Yes. Let's try and throw you guys in here for a minute. So you do have two seats in there with a very large dock house. So when the cab does sit down, the engine is between you and the passenger. And of course, that's a full functioning yes. tow. Yes, uh-huh. And it is four wheel drive. I see so many different things. You know, we see rat rods, we see ice cream trucks. Um, <laughs> yes. We see it all. And uh, tow trucks are very neat. I've seen one from the very, very early days. There's something for everyone. That's exactly right. If a Tri-5 is not your, something for you or a Mercury or a Mopar, then maybe this is what you've been looking for. Very cool. Okay, there's another door now. There is. <laughs> That's what I said, this place is massive. All right, I'll go in through here. There's a boat. Yes. So the Not boat's for sale too? Uh, everything's probably for sale. <laughs> <laughs> for the right price, everything is for sale. Okay. Where are we at now? So this is our actual working shop in here. So this is where we do full mechanic work from, we're doing a LS swap in a FJ right now. This is getting a 60 LS with a brand new five speed manual, um, brand new transfer case. We just ordered a brand new nine inch rear end for it. That'll have Detroit locker. And uh, this gentleman, he wants to enjoy this with his uh, wife and two kids and wanted something a little bit more than 160 horsepower out of the six cylinder that was in it. So now we're gonna give him around 400 horsepower. This gentleman is not selling the car. Nope. So he's just brought it here to do an LS swap. He brought it to us just to do the LS swap. Okay, so now we're getting into another side of things as yes. well. So you guys also do shop services. We do. To what extent? I know there's an engine swap happening here. That, that's probably our largest thing that we want to get into. Like mm -hmm. I said, it's just me and one other gentleman here that is our full-time lead mechanic. And uh, so we're a very small operation here. And uh, so we're So not, full restorations, uh, somebody gives you a project car. Yeah, that, that's not really for us. That, okay. that we're not going to do paint and body here. We're not doing anything like that. Um, you know, but the, if they've worked on something themselves and they're almost at that finish line. Yeah, we, we would like to talk with them and consider their options of what we might be able to possibly help them out with. Mm -hmm. Yes. That's pretty neat. I did yes. not expect that at all. Yes. Because <laughs> the engine swap is a big thing, you know. Some people oh, are just yeah. body guys. Right. And um, when it comes to the mechanics, especially with the modern day engines like yep. the LSs, where there is so much electronics involved. Yeah, so we will be putting poly fuel injection on this, um, you know, with, in today's world, there's a lot of stuff that is a lot of plug and play, mm -hmm. very, you know, makes this swap very simple 
on doing a FJ40, putting a Chevrolet motor in it. But it might be simple for you, Ace. Now Correct. you're young, you're from this generation, <laughs> okay? But for all our other car folk out there who've been working on the 350s and yes. the carburetors, and they, that's so, that's like, you know, getting up and brushing your teeth in the morning, it comes to them so easily. Right. Whereas we might struggle with that. Right. Vice versa with something like the LSs. Yes. For you, plug and play, you know, <laughs> we just put this and tweak this in here. For someone who's got a beautiful 40s yeah. car, then um, that's something they might want to consider coming to you for that final piece. Uh, our lead mechanic here has been a mechanic for over 40 years. He was a uh, Corvette tech at a local Chevrolet dealer for over 10 years that that's all he did was Corvettes. And um, so he is very, very smart when it comes to carburetors or anything, even doing engine swaps. And we team up together and we just work wonderful together. We've got some chairs and tables here. <laughs> yes, we do. Is this where you do your homework? Yes, yeah. This your son is, comes it, and does this his is homework? where my drawing board and everything. <laughs> and. Um, Actually, uh, we're blessed to help uh, some local uh, college-age students, and they hold a small school here on Monday nights for four hours a night, and we have a really great teacher that comes down here and teaches these kids to help advance them at their local dealership jobs, things like that. Um, they come down here and they have a project truck right now that they're working on and kind of learn a little bit more to advance them before they go st start taking on the bigger projects that they find at the dealerships that... Uh, this is so cool. So yeah. does Restoration Warehouse provide them the facility and obviously a car to work on? Correct. Or do they actually provide the course and handle enrollment as well? Yes and no. Okay. So, um, with that, I can, if you're interested in the schooling part of it, I'd be happy to talk with them more on a personal level if they want to reach out to me. And, uh, and my number is 865-409-5407. And, um, and we can talk more about the schooling, but we do provide the facility here. We do provide the vehicle and tools. And you know, we're, we're just trying to help today's kids advance for tomorrow is all we're trying to do. I absolutely love it. You're not just selling cars, you're offering right. storage, you're offering <laughs> engine swap services, and yes. now even schooling for the next generation. Exactly, so you know, we've got them working on a square body S10 right now, just understanding how the brake systems work, doing bearings, bleeding brakes, getting the basics down, and understanding that before they're thrown out there and you know, need to do a larger job, they've kind of got the basic skills down. And simplicity is great to learn mm -hmm. the hands-on mechanics. Just like we had them working on some steering angles and things like this on this lowered C10 right here. And been kind of teaching them a little bit about an LS motor being swapped into stuff. Now, I'm not saying that they're gonna be you know, needing all that if they're working at a new car dealership and, uh, but you don't know where they're going to But you don't know where they're going to end go. up at and you know, what might be thrown their way. So. And do you help them out with um, apprenticeships and things like that? Correct, we do. So we help place them in a few local dealerships that, that we partnered up with. And uh, so, yeah, it's, it's a that. really great little program. Absolutely love that. No, okay, Ace, what is this? Okay, so this <laughs> is a 1940 pop dryer midget race car right here. And this is... Um, D Dustin is Ace's real name, everybody. So why yes. does that have your name on it? <laughs> because this car hadn't ran in like 25 years. It doesn't have a starter. It's a true push, push to start car. And um, it hadn't ran in like 25 years. Uh, Wayne, our lead mechanic, is smart enough to understand how the magneto and everything works, how it's running off the front cam and got everything adjusted. It took us a couple times of push starting this and we got it running. Now that so was a no... scary ride. <laughs> it was very scary. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you about that. Yes. But, um, there is no starter here. So when you push it, mm -hmm. the wheels in motion then trigger Correct. the engine. Exactly, And it yes. gets it going. Yeah, okay. so I uh, turn the fuel on, okay. turn the ignition on and we push start it in gear kicks off the motor, and it was a very wild ride. So you can see there's actually some dirt on these tires because when it took off in the parking lot, 
I was just trying to keep it running and we ended up in the field up in our upper lot and making some corners and having some fun because well good to see you're still alive i'm still alive <laughs> and uh because right here is the only braking system on this and is this lever right here wow yeah so i was trying to get it out of gear keep it running and stop it all at the same time and it's a very tight configuration in there <laughs> and uh so this motor that's in this you must door, have a very understanding why <laughs> <laughs> to so, put yourself in dangerous situations yeah, like this, you know, honestly. But, you know, we wanted to say that we got it running, and we did. And so that was <laughs> tons of fun. And, you know, we really need a lot more room to keep it going and really do some more tuning on it. But we did have it running, so that was a fun, that was a fun day. We, we were really happy when we got that running. But So this motor, I believe, is one of seven that are left in existence. It's a flathead Ford right here and it's called a jiggler flathead a jiggler flathead a jiggler flathead never seen one wow. all right i have a lot of questions but that's all right i can ask <laughs> you that after let's continue yes. on <laughs> that is so cool so this is a 1964 Galaxy that we're going to do uh, AC, some disc brakes, change wheels and tires, just a, just a little bit of update and make this a little bit more driver-friendly car, enjoyable, um, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy on this car. Love it. This is another, this is one of those long-term projects that you were talking about that this Jeep right here has been in this state on and off for almost six years now. Mm -hmm. And so we're going to finish this Jeep for a very close friend of ours that it's been at multiple shops and it's got a ton of work done, but it's time to get it done for him. Uh, it does have a fully built LS. It has an Atlas transfer case. The, this one's gonna be a really cool Jeep when it's done. Um, it's gonna sound great, look great, and we're excited to get this You do have your one. work cut out for you, Ace, because yeah. there is no interiors here. No, there no. is still some body work that needs to happen yes. as well. So we, let's go back to saying you will just do LS swaps and add some brakes and AC. There is a lot more work involved yes. in this Jeep. Yes, there is. And so we're gonna get him in touch with all the right people for doing the paint and body work and stuff. And uh, you know, it, this, is, this has been a project of love for him that He's been looking for the right people to finish it up, get it run, and get all the mechanics done, and, that, and that's what we're going to do for him. Love that. You're going to help and connect him? Yes. Where are you taking me now? All right. We're going in the top secret nuclear, nuclear warehouse. Nuclear warehouse. That's exactly yes. what it says. Can and I just show so, everyone the sign? <laughs> yes. And, okay. Uh, so these are personal cars yes. of the owners. And not only that, but you've got a little bit of your own history here as well. Yes, I do. I'm very blessed that uh, my grandparents uh, have been in the cars for a very long time. My grandfather was a new car dealer, things like that. And uh, so when it came time for him to kind of give up his driving of his cool cars, uh, we were able to purchase those cars and now they're gonna stay here in the collection. And uh, so this 66 Chevelle was my grandfather's and I've done a lot of work to this car over the years and it's had a bunch of miles put on it, enjoyed a lot, we've made a lot of memories in it and I'm thankful to be able to still get to have those memories with him now when he comes over and he hangs out with us, we get the Chevelle oh, out. Oh, he and, gets to drive it with yeah. you as well. Yeah, so we awesome. get it out and run, have lunch in it or do fun stuff and so yeah. Oh, I love that, I absolutely love that. Yes. got a master here as well yes and so this was actually my grandmother's car <laughs> oh, uh, th this was her pride and joy 92 Mazda Miata Nardi edition those are factory BBS wheels this car has 33,000 miles on it Wow uh, I think it probably has been wet five times in its whole entire life and uh, she only drove this car on basically 60 degree and warmer days she this was this was her fun car but you know, they, they've kind of slowed down on the driving and, you know, and she was like, well, I want it 
to still be loved and cared for. And so that's what we're going to do here. So we get it out, drive it down the road, enjoy it a little bit. And, you know. How cool so is this? Your it, grandma's yes. Mazda. Yeah, I don't, your... I don't think there's probably too many grandmothers that are out there that had a really cool Miata <laughs> and stuff. So, yeah, I, I've but got I a great, love the wonderful fact family. Your family's history is here as well. Yes. And you get to, and, and they get to come in and see it. Exactly. This is very cool. Yes. I do like this GTO though. Yes, so it's a 64 tri-power, four-speed AC convertible GTO. Wow. Now these cars are not for sale, everybody, but if someone is out there specifically looking for a certain GTO, yeah. can you help them out with that as well? Yes, so that is what else we're trying to do is help people find their dream car. Mm -hmm. We try to, you know, search it out for them. We check it out, give our stamp of approval or you know, purchase the car for them and make sure everything's good to go and then put them in the driver's seat. Well, here's another question. Um, appraisals, do you guys do appraisals? We can do some appraisals, mm -hmm. but you know, each car's unique and in the, in the end, it's what somebody's willing to pay for a car. Yep. And you know, it's hard to put a value on what somebody's put their time and love into. And how and much it means to someone exactly. to have that and car. So, uh, but we do our best to help each and every customer. But I love the fact that you guys are able to find something that someone is looking for, a specific yes. type of classic. You can check out the auctions for them. Exactly. Because it's hard. I mean, if you're in the industry, then it might be a lot more easier for you. But if you're sitting right. at home dreaming of your car. We had a customer that was really looking for a Dodge Power Wagon, wanted a crew cab, wanted something really cool, really different. And we searched out for quite a few months and finally found him the perfect ride and he couldn't be happier. So there it you was go. great. Yes. Love that, absolutely love that. Okay, we've got muscle cars, but then we've also got some farm trucks back here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Let's go over and have a look at these. So I know which one you're going to go to because yes. I know you really like this. <laughs> 1958 Chevrolet Apache all original paint truck. Wow. And I know a lot of people are probably going to say that that can't be true. I wish you could be here in person and check this truck out. It is uh, very impressive. It's very beautiful. It is a six cylinder automatic, factory automatic truck. The original seat cover is up underneath that blue seat cover um, to protect it. And you, this is how we know what Ace is telling us is absolutely legit because where the person was resting their it, arm. Exactly. You know, where you can tell where they were resting their arm. Uh, there's just little telltale signs around that the windows haven't been out of it and things like that, that this is all the original rubber and just how this truck fit and finish. Um, there's just little things all about it. There's no overspray. There's no nothing. It's original wood. It is original paint, everybody. Yes. This is the imperfections that makes this so beautiful. Exactly. Wow. You know, I, I, I've seen these trucks done up, restored with such bright, beautiful colors. And to, ha to see this, that this is one of the original colors that it came <laughs> yes. out in, it, it's pretty cool. Yes, it's very cool. Are these the original wheels as well? Yes. Hubcaps. Um, I, I don't know about the tires. I'm gonna probably assume that tires have been replaced at some point in its life because they look very, very nice. I find it fascinating because people restore these to look exactly the way it came out from the factory. Yes. And, um, and every time I see it, it's always obviously very shiny. <laughs> yes. So to see it in this form, I do appreciate it. And I love it. <laughs> <laughs> now you've got a custom cab here. Yes. So this is a 56 F100. Uh, this truck has been repainted at some point in its life. It was just a really neat truck, solid. It's got its little imperfections, you know, but it was just one of those that, this is just a cool truck to own. And uh, the owner, he just, he fell in love with this one. He was like, we need this truck. So yeah, six cylinder, three speed. Um, no power steering, no power brakes, you know, bare necessities. Just the way it was. Yes. Just the way it was. 
This is a 1966 F100, six cylinder, three speed, no power steering, no power brakes. This truck has been restored quite a few years ago and uh, it's been a major award winner. And uh, we just, we fell in love with this truck when we saw it and couldn't pass it up. Super neat, super clean in here, and not only that, it is very, very comfortable. We've got chairs, there's a fridge there, there's a <laughs> yes. food table. It's very inviting, it's very welcoming, and yes. I think that is so important for someone coming out here and you're going to be spending, it's, it's a lot of money to be spending on cars, but yep. no, they're not just any cars, these are beloved classics with memories that people have. That's exactly right. And it's going to take some time, and it's about building that relationship, and I think you guys are just doing it really well. Thank you. Restoration Warehouse here. Um, this has been amazing. Tell me the address. So the address here at Restoration Warehouse is 5801 Middlebrook Pike, and that's Knoxville, Tennessee, 37921. And for people here in Tennessee and even the surrounding states, this is definitely a drive worth coming. Yes. That's my Come, two cents. Give me a call. Give me about uh, you know, a day's notice, and I'll be glad to set you up with an appointment. Come in, check out our rides, and we hopefully find something that you really like. It is by appointment only, so um, yeah. which makes sense. I mean, such a big place, so many beautiful classics here. Make the appointment, and it's even better because then you can have that dedicated time to really look through where yes. it's just you by yourself. You're not among so many other customers. That's exactly and right. And get that personalized experience. That's exactly right. Love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you so much. Hey, Ace. thank you for coming out today. Thank you.